Greetings, my friends. I've told you before many times that I believe that Donald Trump might, in fact, be the seventh king of Revelation to rule for just a short while before the eighth king takes over. And look what's happening right now. All around the U.S., coast to coast and everywhere in between, tens of thousands of people in different places violently protesting, demanding Donald Trump's impeachment and or assassination, which is horrendous. It's around the world as well. And at the same time, they're all asking that Barack Hussein Obama come back into power. This is happening around the entire globe. The globe, the world, wants to see Obama as its ruler. Different countries have asked him to be their ruler. Is it possible? Could it happen? According to the Constitution, Obama can't be president again. But again, when has our Constitution ever been held up over the past eight years since Obama took office? Hasn't been. It's been eroded down to a worthless piece of paper, which is what uh, Obama thinks that it is. Unbelievable. And regardless, Obama doesn't want to come back and rule the U.S. He wants to rule the entire world. And I believe that after the imminent rapture or plazo catching away, when the world is in fear and pure terror from their family members and friends, their babies and little ones disappearing in the middle of the night, gone, the graves burst open, they're gone. They will demand and need an answer. They will be so scared, and I believe Obama will give them the answer they're looking for. I believe it will be aliens, took them, trying to, to uh, explain away the rapture, Harpazo catching away, and next thing you know, the world will clamor for Obama and love him and worship him like he wants to be as he, if he becomes the future Antichrist, which again, he's the only man that matches everything, all the criteria. And until someone else does, he's the man. So the bottom line is this, the world, my friends, is toast. So many things are happening. So many things are going on. Everything in the Bible, Matthew 24, all the books of the Bible, all the scripture have been fulfilled, showing that the rapture or apostle catching away is imminent. And after that, the tribulation and great tribulation, where two thirds of all humans die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths imaginable. And God will just tear this world apart. And Satan and the Antichrist and false prophet will also reign hell on this earth. It's going to be horrendous, my friends. And sadly, most people will be here, including most Christians, because they are backsliders. They won't repent. They have misread and misinterpreted God's word. Sadly, they believe they're right, but they're not. And they're too proud to change. It's going to be terrible. Why would you even go through all that? Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Witness and pray daily, Christians. And share this video with everybody you possibly can. And look up our Dipton Droth and I. We fly soon.